Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am going to play along with a hop with my pals Christy as well as Moira and we are doing the Peaceful Heart Challenge from Scrapbook Your Joy. So I have a little write up about it so I can explain it properly. It reads, a peaceful heart is your ability to stay calm and unaffected in what feels like a negative situation. So we are to use this incredible Peaceful Heart collection to create a layout about what gives us a peaceful heart. So I thought about this because this collection, I mean, it is beautiful. I'm going to show it to you a little bit and then I will leave a link down below as well for when I did my scrappy haul on it. So I thought about it and then I realized I love being amongst flowers and I love being amongst nature and, and just enjoying it. Like there does not have to be any hubbub whatsoever and I am vibing it. So the first thing I did is I have this big old gorgeous paper pad, not old, brand new, that Sandra at Scrapbook Your Joy sent and trying to choose, uh, trying to choose which papers you want to use from 48 with a brand new collection is daunting. It is gorgeous. It is daunting. So I have some to start. I have a big thing for ledger, so I think I want the ledger to be my background. Great. And now we have this botanical leafy bit. It's a really nice tone on tone olive green. I want to mat a photo in that. I kept getting drawn to this one because I think I didn't know what to make of it. I was like, hmm, interesting. So I think that's going to be a layer. So I know I'm that far and I like the idea of some of these strips and I'll show you why in just a moment. I don't necessarily, I don't know. I need some of them, but not all of them. So I think I'm gonna bring that in. And I just like the foil from these. I like the leafy bits here and I love the tags. So I grabbed different pieces that I liked to start. Great. Let me show you my photo. This is a, a photo I'm in Northern Michigan um, in Traverse City on the peninsula, if you know the area. And there is a gorgeous lavender farm there. And there's just rows and rows of big, chunky lavender. And it's so pretty. Not planned, but I was wearing yellow that day with my backpack. My One of my kids tells me I look like Dora. Anywho. And so the purple and yellow works ever so nicely. So there is a picture of me enjoying being out in this gorgeousness. They also had, they had all these lavender products like, like lip balm and hand creams and honey and all this kind of stuff. Very cool there. So then, oh, but wait, there's more. I have all three sets of the die cuts, ephemera, whatever people call them now. So I have those, my little iris containers to play with. I've got the peaceful thickers, these foam ones. I have the alphas. I have, oh, but wait, there's more. Accent stickers and brads. So I have all kinds of great stuff to play with. I really do. So what I need to do is pop my paper pad over here for now. I mean, there's cut up parts in there. I mean, I can use this forever. So I have to work on my design idea. Like I said, I like this for the background. I liked leaving a nice border on my photos. I usually do that. I think it separates things nicely. And I know I want to create a nice mat for my photos. That's one of the things I love to do is a bunch of mats. Let me get my scufferator to make it nice and scuffy. I want to choose which tags I want to use. And now I have a hinker with this page to just cut out certain ones. I like the, um, the purpley bits, the yellow bits, and a little bit of the pink. So I'm going to strategically cut out what I might like and scuff that up too. So it's going to take me a minute. I'm going to get my thoughts together just a little bit more and I'll be right back. So I have a little traction. Let me show you what I did. I went ahead and gutted this gorgeous olive piece of paper here so that I could map my photo with the same paper. And I ended up using one, two, three, four, five mats because I kept liking the next pattern paper and the next pattern paper. So I have lots of mats and then I scuffed all of them up, which I think is awesome. So I've got a nice little square there. I've scuffed this piece right here. I also need to scuff my green. Now this piece right here that was super wavy, I just took out the colors I wasn't going to strongly be using and I created a new set of wavy, wavy papers that I'm going to stack up 
and use a little bit of Chief Kids cheap kids craft foam I, I need to find myself a new sheet of it to have it stick up a bit but I thought I'd show you where I am with it now I have my title picked out which is lovely lavender using these awesome foamy bits and I also picked out some of these floral pieces that I like so doesn't mean I'm not going to it doesn't mean I'm going to use them all and it doesn't mean I'm not going to add more but I do like to start picking and choosing things. And I also have these gorgeous brads and I want to get some of the gold in. I made sure to get, one of my papers is this gorgeous gold metallic. So I love the idea of bringing a little bit of metal in this. So I'm gonna get all of these pieces down, get my title down and I'll come right back. So I have things attached down and now I'm looking through the die cuts that I do have for this collection. And I mean, I actually have all the die cuts for this collection, which it's almost hard to narrow them down when you want to use every one of your gorgeous things. But I was trying to keep to the color palette that I have here. Now this, this collection has this really gorgeous terracotta color as well, but I was trying to keep just a little bit, um, I don't know, just, just to these colors. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Now, the thing with the bees, I only had two bee pieces that I found, and I really wanted to use them more than the butterflies. And the reason why is there were just bees buzzing along, doing their thing all over these lavender fields. And yeah, it was just part of it. So how fortuitous that this collection had them in there. But the butterflies will make their way onto another layout. Don't you worry. So let's see, what else? Oh, not pictured here, but at this lavender farm, it was so cool. They had this uh, really old barn, you know, like almost one of those half falling over kind of barns. And they were drying lavender like in row after row after row, you know, to use for all of the good things that they had. And it was gorgeous. So I have uh, pictures coming to my channel at some point with those photos as well. I thought it was really cool. I was trying to do a little bit of scuffing on some of these pieces, but I'm telling you, stickers resist my scuffing. They are quite rude about things. But I was just trying to mess up some of the edges here and there. So I am making sure to pop up some things on some Cheap Kids craft foam, like that little piece you see there that has the mouse purse on it, because I like that tiny bit of shadow you get, a little bit of the dimension, all that kind of stuff. And of course, I'm faffing about with it you know, deciding how it has to be perfect, even though there's absolutely nothing that is perfect in scrapbooking, but y'all know what I'm saying. And let's see, what else was going on? Oh, I'm, I'm going along doing this. I have my title on. I know where my clusters are, pretty much the things I want in my clusters. And I'm also wanting to make sure I get those gorgeous heart brads on. So I've gone ahead and got my cute little heart brads on. My clusters are finished up. There's some nice texture and dimension and all that good stuff. So this is this layout finish. Now, I'll have links down below for the other crafters who are playing along in this hop. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll have all the links down, to, down below for uh, Scrapbook Your Joy as well, including the website and the Facebook group. So that's it. Goodbye for now, friends. Thanks so much for watching.